car and I also spent a decent amount of time um, just mounting, getting the rock garden mounted and stuff like that. Um, it was a kind of a ordeal. Um, I tend to do stuff kind of the hard way. Not necessarily the hard way, but the cheap way. <laughs> just because I'm a cheap person. But um, my upbringing kind of raised me that way. Um, I didn't come from a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. So the way I do stuff is of the way of a person that doesn't have a lot of money. So um, I wouldn't advise that everyone do stuff the way I do it. But I would advise people to step outside of their box of just buying stuff and spending a ton of money when you can just do stuff yourself. Um, so that's what I that's what I would kind of bring to this. And this video is going to kind of show you a little bit about what I do um, when it comes to building race cars and the stuff that I like to do. Um, I've built Jeeps. I've built cars. I've built all kind of stuff. I'm a moto guy, um, but this is my first race car. Um, so it's, it's coming together and I'm pretty excited about it. There's two practice days next weekend. I'm gonna hit both of them. Um, hopefully I can keep it off the wall and hopefully I can have some fun. So I'll definitely film all of that. You guys will be a part of that. And I look forward to having a lot of you, uh, a lot of you comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. So I appreciate it and thanks. to make some holes for some gauges that we're putting in a lot of uh, a lot of people would just buy the uh, circular like bit the huge one I am very backwards and I'm very against spending money on anything that's something you'll learn about me so a lot of times I do stuff the hard way but you learn a lot doing it the hard way and if it doesn't work out it's gonna work out, so just check it out. <laughs>
oil pressure gauge in. Got it ran all the way up there. Um, now I'm about to mount the tack. Um, I've already riveted <coughs> part of the mount on and I bolted the bottom so that if I wanted to adjust it a little bit, I could. <coughs> I'm just gonna run it straight through there. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. Um, I gotta clean this thing up a little bit. After we get everything mounted, I've got this uh, rock guard that's got it going also. So, got a little bit to do today. Um, it should be fun. Um, just trying to get everything done. I keep forgetting to hit record, so excuse me. And, uh... looking at it based off of how I would see it in the seat um, I'm gonna have to adjust it up a little bit I can already tell but looks pretty good I've also got the oil pressure gauge mounted already everything looks good I'm gonna wire this thing up and wire the oil pressure gauge up a little bit better and start it and see if everything works should be good though I just wired everything up we're about to see if it's gonna start so, kind of excited. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> well, that ain't good, son. Huh?
the gauges in. Um, I didn't get the mud deflector on like I wanted to. Um, that's kind of one of the things that I was trying to do today also, but it was kind of a, <clears throat> doing the gauges was kind of different because I've never done a set, so I was just glad I got them working. <laughs> but um, for the most part, everything came out pretty good. Um, gauges are working. Looking to go practice this weekend if it doesn't rain. If not, it'll be next weekend. Um, yeah, so look out for it. Hopefully we don't put it in the wall. <laughs>